this is me and today I have a really exciting video because it's kind of going to be the journey of Joey and I doing our first show this year. Obviously we did the Hunt trial last year but I feel like this is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a very different environment because we're doing dressage and show jumping on the same day so um, it's going to be sort of an environment where a lot of people will probably be watching us so uh, we will see uh, what Joey is like. Um, so that's in about three weeks time from me filming this intro now because today hopefully we're going to get some training in. I would have liked to have competed him earlier on in the year but obviously in the UK we've had loads of lockdowns during the winter so he wasn't able to get out at all and during that winter me and my instructor have really been working on our flat work with Joey so I've had lots of flat work lessons. We've been really um, working on building up his top line, get him feeling um, stronger and better so we can go out and hopefully have some fun show jumping this summer. The reason why I decided to do the dressage and the show jumping for sort of our first kind of show together is because I thought, you know what, he's a young horse, it'll be good to just do the dressage almost as like a warm up, get him in the show ring, get him in that environment, just to see how he is. Um, and also, yeah, again, will be a nice warm up for him without having to worrying about um, jumping the colored sticks in the show jumping that I think will be afterwards. I think we're gonna do the 80 centimeters because I feel like when the jumps are too small, he doesn't really respect them. But obviously don't wanna push him out of his comfort zone, don't wanna do anything too big. So I feel like that's a good sort of middle ground. But obviously I'm gonna be taking him out show jumping to the same place today so he can have a little look around get used to that place obviously it won't have the show environment because it's only training and we're doing an arena hire but at least he can have a little look around and hopefully when we go back there again for the show he'll sort of know where he is and he'll be a little bit more familiar with the place so that is the plan for today obviously I'm gonna play it by ear I haven't actually entered the class yet so uh, I'm gonna jump him around today probably around that height maybe 85 a little bit bigger just so then when we do do the show he feels really comfortable doing that height so he can have a look at some of the colorful fences and things because again he's still a young horse he's not done that many many competitions or competing um, he's never affiliated so yeah he's still a young horse I don't want to rush him we're taking things slow but yeah hopefully today everything goes well it'll be nice and educational for us I haven't actually jumped him out somewhere in absolutely ages so we'll see how it goes um, I haven't actually jumped to like a proper big course with him since last year, back when we could go out and do show jumping, so probably about six months ago. Obviously I went to Hickson not too long ago to do some cross country, but I feel like cross country and show jumping are quite different, so we will see. Um, just need to make sure that he doesn't get too long in between fences, but yeah, I'm gonna go and grab him now and we'll see how it goes. going my way cause that would be boring spend my last cent on cheese and champagne what a wonderful morning never mind she declined to the first day it was only on my birthday never mind all the lines on the highway give me time to reflect a bit from here but sometimes i wonder i might have met the love of my life but i lost a number never mind she declined to the first date i went to vegas with a roommate never mind all the lines on the highway i aim to misbehave cause i'm just having a good day having a good day having a So 
Joey and I had so much fun out show jumping together. Um, we actually hired the arena out twice, so that's probably why in the footage I was wearing two different outfits, because I thought, you know what, you can never have too much practice, especially as we haven't really been out jumping a course in a big arena since October. We've only been able to jump at home when, with him being so big, we can only really fit like two or maybe three fences at home. So it was nice to do a big, long course. But anyway, today we're going to be practicing some dressage because we're also going to be doing dressage at the show. It's called combined training. So it's show jumping and dressage. So it's a bit like eventing, but without the uh, cross country, obviously. Um, so the test we're going to be doing is the 2006 preliminary 14 test. Uh, so it's going to be under British eventing rules. Um, so that's good fun. But I thought, you know what? Obviously, I'm more of a show jumper than a dressage rider. I've only ever done one proper competition in dressage, one dressage test before, and that was with Casper back in 2016. So it's, it's been quite a while, and I've only done one before, but you know what? I thought it would be really good practice for Joey. Obviously, we are more show jumpers, but just to get him in a competition environment, somewhere new, somewhere different, I feel like the dressage test will be really good, almost as like a warm up, just to get him settled, um, get him in a nice rhythm, and we'll just see how it goes, you know? For me, this competition isn't like, I wanna go out and win. It's like, I've got my young baby horse. We're gonna take it chilled. I just wanna go out there, have some fun, put some miles on him and get him used to a show environment. Like, honestly, this show for me is just extra training. Um, so that is the plan. So we're gonna be practicing that today. I think I know it. I've been revising, but it's obviously is a nice, simple test. Shouldn't be too tricky. Um, so hopefully that all goes well. So I'm gonna tack him up now, get him ready and do some training. Hey Joey, he is a lot more interested in his hay net right now, but um, he's actually been feeling really good. We've been working so much on our flat work during the winter, so uh, hopefully it will go well. Good man. And round and down. Yeah, good boy. One, two, three. good boy. All right, so I am currently doing my treat stretches with Joey. I would call them carrot stretches, but I'm actually using treats just because it's easier. There we go. So these are all exercises that the physio recommended. So I like to do them before we ride, so he's nice and stretched. I took a ride on a Saturday night But you know I'll make it back You should never have to ask me, babe Never have to ask me, babe
finished my dressage practice with Joey and he was such a good boy. Something that I found during both tests, because I did actually practice it twice, um, was that at the beginning of the test he was a little bit more sluggish, he was a little bit more lazy and then the second half of the test he kind of went into dressage mode. He was kind of like, okay, I know what I'm doing now. That might be because um, I canter on the right rein first and that's his He's not as strong on that rein. He's better on the left rein, the left rein canter. He did a beautiful transition. I just felt like he was a bit stronger. Um, so that's just something I know about him because he's a young horse. You know, all horses are slightly one-sided. Um, so he was, yeah, definitely the second half of the um, test, he was a lot more forward going. So I really had to adapt my riding um, during it. So like, at the beginning I had to be like, okay, come along Joey. And the second half I was like, okay, slow down a bit Joey. Um, but no, I'm really happy with him. Um, I actually decided to do the test twice because he is a young horse. He finds it difficult to hold himself nicely for long periods of time. Obviously, from my training and things, he can move really nicely, but doing that for a long period of time, he struggles a little bit again. He's a young horse, he's still developing his muscles. When he's stronger, he will be able to hold that longer. So I think during the test, that's gonna be the one thing we're gonna struggle with, is just keeping him going nicely for the full four minutes of the test. And four minutes doesn't sound that long, but I feel like when I do the test, it will feel like the longest four minutes of my life. Um, but anyway, I'm super happy with him. Again, it's just gonna be a nice chilled little show. Have some fun. And I will see you guys when I'm preparing him, getting him and my tack nice and clean, ready for the show. Good boy, well done. It is now the day before the show and doing some final preparations. So today I took Joey out for a lovely long hack. Um, I always feel like hacking is a nice thing to do before a show because you're not focusing too much on what you prepared. You're not getting all bogged down on the little things. It's just nice to do something fun with your horse. It was actually quite good because there was a lot of desensitization training because it has been 50, 60 mile per hour winds out there. Joey luckily was such a good boy, but I feel like it's a little bit it mean the weather is a little bit against us for our first show this year for it to be windy and rainy in May as well it's like come on but um no it's kind of sad because we haven't actually been able to get out that much I feel like I said this before but last summer obviously well last year obviously locked down and then in the summer we couldn't get out because our van was poorly and then we had to wait for a part to come from overseas and obviously that was delayed because of covid so then we couldn't get anywhere because the van was broken and then we managed to do the one hunter trial and then we went into lockdown again so joey really hasn't been out much at all he hasn't really done any competing with his previous owners really at all as well he's done like the odd one or two shows so this really is taking the baby horse out for a big day out so um yeah i'm a little bit nervous I'm not gonna lie last time i would i competed regularly was with casper in 2016. <clears throat> that was the year before i did my gcse exams and then i got too busy with schoolwork and things to do competing and we just had fun um so it's been been a while I'm not gonna lie i'm a bit nervous when i used to compete with casper and even though sometimes with casper it didn't go quite well i wasn't nervous at all am i nervous now a little bit i'm gonna tell myself i'm excited uh, so I'm excited, not nervous, um, but you know, I can just be like, oh, it's baby horse's first trip out, you know, if he gets a bit excited or wild, be like, oh, baby horse, I've got that excuse, even though he is getting, he's going to be, he's going to be seven soon, my goodness, he still feels so young because obviously I haven't been able to do much, but um, before I stop, I'll stop myself rambling on because I need to get my tack clean, yes, it's like a few hours before I need to go to bed and I'm cleaning tack, I'm that person, but the weather has been so horrible. I was like, oh, the weather will get better. I'll film me clean my tack. Has it got better? No. So anyway, I'm gonna do that now and I'll see you guys once my tack, hopefully, is sparkling clean. All right, so I'm gonna be using my Voltaire Design Glycerin Soap. And as you can see, it has been well loved and well used because obviously cleaning a tack is very important. I do it very regularly. Definitely. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to quickly clean off my dressage saddle. You guys probably haven't really seen my dressage saddle that much because we only got it in the autumn last year. And then Joey changed shape so much that we had to send it back and have it readjusted because Joey has put on so much more muscles since, since when we first bought him, obviously being a young horse, he has developed quite a bit. So I haven't really done too much um, cleaning of my dressage saddle yet, which is very exciting because I'm just absolutely 
in love with it but yeah very lucky to have it um so yeah i will see you guys when hopefully my tack is clean because i will just carry on talking and talking while i'm cleaning my tack i'm used to doing my tack cleaning q a's so um i'll let you guys see some satisfying footage instead of me just rambling on <laughs> It sounds really weird, but I feel like having my saddle on like a saddle stand and cleaning it like this, because this is the old saddle stand I used to have with Mickey, and it just makes me like remember of when I used to have like, sh I used to do showing shows with Mickey back in the day when I was like, what, like eight, nine, ten. Um, and like the night before, I'd like be cleaning my tack around this sort of time and um, getting everything ready. And it's just making me really excited because it's just making me feel like I'm a little kid again and I'm cleaning my tack, getting ready to do like a showing show. Obviously, this is dressage and show jumping, but no, it's just memories. <laughs> I'm just using the excess of this to wipe um, the top. Obviously, you don't want to put too much on where the seat is because it will be a little bit slippery and you do not want that, especially if Joey decides to maybe bust some funky moves in the warm up. Um, but there we go, looking sparkling clean. That is my breastplate done and I think my tack, everything is now clean so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think I'm done for today so I will see you guys tomorrow on the show day when I need to get a joey as clean as I possibly can. <laughs> All right guys, I'm in the van on the way to the show. All right guys, I am so happy with you. <laughs> it's 